Ah, London. What a town. History around every corner, and a tourist photographing it. Pub serving up a pint and a smile. All that music, theatre and art. And multiculturalism. And the world's oldest underground, the Tube. The class of cities, really. Top shelf stuff. Only took 12,000 years to build it up, and one night to tear it all down. Our status. Perimeter security's down, but plenty of your flying friends about. Fucking hell. Dalton, no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. I'm in. Any idea what we're up against, Bagley? If you haven't brushed off, I might. Ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities? That's rich, Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. Let us all this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. That hurt you more than it hurt me. Do us a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. How's that? got loads of dead set gear down here. And why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like dead set was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. Who are these men in black anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. Oh, fuck me. The entire place is rigged to blow. Jesus, those canisters. Bagley, is that? RDX nitrogen. Enough to level Parliament. Can you locate a detonator, Bagley? Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above you. Yeah, that fits the bill. On my way. <laughs> Their profiles are heavily encrypted. No identifying information. Ghosts in the system. Bagley, is that not the detonator? No, but it's a transmitter sending a signal to a device on the floor above us. Safe to assume that would be the detonator we're looking for. They've staged dead sec propaganda all around the bombs. These pricks are going to blow up Parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first.
in the House of Commons. Whoever these men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the centre of government. I found the detonator. And it's definitely live. Bagley, I'm gonna need some help with this. Yes, you are, but sadly, I'm locked out. Fuck. Well, we don't have a chance without Bagley. Wait, Wait. I might know a workaround. We trained in manual overrides at MI5. You're full of surprises. Be quick about it. All right, Bagley, do your thing. I'm in. And the bombs have just armed themselves. Well, that may complicate matters. For fuck's sake. Can you defuse them or not? Of course I can, but I might also trip another failsafe and vaporize you, so fair warning. I expect this to draw some attention your way, Dalton. Oh, I'm counting on it. Company at our back door. Shit. Dalton, we've got some heat here at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. It's about to get real. They're on me. I'll try and hold them off. Eyes open. Weapons ready. Oh, clear it out. You and me at the door. Bagley, tell me you're close. I'm through security. Now waiting through terabytes of decoy code looking for the destination sequence. Bagley, update. Let's just say I'm both impressed and annoyed by how sophisticated this anti-tamper security is. Still working. Dalton, I need your physical appendages now. What's wrong? There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. You need to pull the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm fucking not. Pull the wire. If this gets me blown up... <sighs> Bombs defused. <laughs> See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Bagley, you bastard. You nearly gave me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bagley. Fucking okay, hell, we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. But my sister's at the tone conference. We have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can reach it, I can shut it all down. Sabine! Fuck! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof! Sabine, what's going on? We're being raided. It's a bloodbath. Her protocol is to wipe everything, including Bagley. I need him for the transmitter. I know, but if they get him, they get everything. Names, ops, locations. Okay, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wipe him. Yes, wipe me. Do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. Fuck. 
Okay. Bagley's down. You're on your own. Dalton, if this goes... It won't. I'll see you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck. with some important work. Important work? Killing thousands of... Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plague, the great fire, the blitz. There's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. Time for a hard reset. Oh my god. Ago, a series of explosions devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected. Mourners gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser focused. They attend Downing Street, where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down dead set terrorism. Albion used cutting-edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of DedSec. A stark warning to would-be insurgents. Top corporations are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. A long overdue cleanup as crime numbers take a dive. Illegal gambling, drug trafficking and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates, the streets of Camden and Brixton. And in Londoners, as Albion's mandate is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs, thanks to the deployment. Big news outlets, reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few... ...to reprimand the public about the circulation of fake news, conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group DedSec were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts...
I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up DeadSec and thrown them in jail. Now, I say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof? Look at Tone! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than DedSec ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think, if anything, dead sex showed their true colours. It's terrifying to think we harboured such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find dead sex more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next, I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombings? Oh, trust me, Claire. They didn't do it alone. They're all in on it. The government, Albion, Sirs, Bloom, Sky Bloody Larson, and all the way up to Downing Street. They want to keep us scared, harness us with, with mind control, suck every last ounce of usefulness out of us, and, and even in death they'll sell off our bodies. And what do you suggest we do, Crypto King? Go underground. Deep enough, no electric signal can get you. It's the only way. Well, thank you to all of our callers today, and thank you for tuning in and scouting for the truth along with me. Next week, Buccaneer Radio will be diving into the Albion Corporation. Just who are these men and women being paid lucrative amounts for the city's defence? Are they protecting us? Protecting London? Or someone else's interests? See you next week, fellow pirates. Claire Waters, out. is worse than I thought. Ah, uh, but there's a candidate. Looks like you're dead sex best hope.
Glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. Fine. downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. Smart move having redundant systems like that. Can't trust anyone, right? This is what you wanted, mate. Get to it. Sabine! Right, where's the fucking light switch? Registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exits, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. Whoa. Whoa! It's all right. I'm supposed to be here. Uh, authorization code... Sabine sent me? Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DedSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. This is London Calling. You're here with me, Tash, on Buccaneer, your source for what they don't want you to know. In today's world, we've all had to get used to our every move being tracked by the optic on our temples, by the cameras around us, and with every click we make online. Seems like everything we do feeds the big data beast. Why are data giants like Bloom so hungry to get hold of our private information and our metadata? What are they using it for? Will we ever have real private lives again? What is privacy in the digital world? And what happens when capitalism and surveillance become one? As you know, we keep all names confidential on Buccaneer. Speaking from a secure location, here's new technology strategist Charles, who worked all over the world trying to keep democracy strong in the face of the data assault. 
If you have enough personal data on somebody, you're able to predict what it is that they're going to do. You can tell what they might be passionate about, but mostly you can tell what they fear. And if you can tell what someone fears, then you can manipulate them and you can move them in particular directions. Like, data is collected on citizens in every possible way. Data is collected through surveillance cameras. Data is collected from television sets. Data is collected from voter records. It's collected from how much power do you use in your house and how much water do you use in your house. In pre-crisis Britain, we got really used to all of our... it. I'm reconnected to the network, downloading our database, news archives, and oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DedSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton Wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. Sounds like a proper conspiracy, Bagley. Who was really behind the bombings then? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Fuck, that's mental. You were lucky to get out alive. I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition here would have you hunted down and shot on sight. <sighs> yeah. About that. I'm guessing that if I join up, that kind of attention extends to me, right? Christ, Sabine, it's fucking risky. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DedSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? I'll say, Amir. Say what the hell. Let's get to it. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DedSec. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DedSec kit.
We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to stop flinching when someone cocks a punch at you. some basic strikes. Hit me. Don't be shy. Yes. Nice one. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. That's it. Just like that. Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Just like that. Couldn't have done that better myself. All right. Honestly, all of this is kind of a lot. Like, do I even belong here? Am I doing enough? Is this a game? I hear you. But this is real, mate. No doubts about that. Right. So go back to acting like I know what I'm doing. Good advice. Right, 
gear in order? Know enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early? Brilliant. I'm working out how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent DeadSec now. So, which evil cabal are we taking on first? Make no mistake, London is under occupation. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. You mean Albion? Yeah, they definitely got that fascist thing going for them. Convince the people they're some kind of saviours, right? So, we have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. For that, we'll need information. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You game? Sabine, we're gonna wake up this city. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. How could you even see? How could you talk?